Hi, it's Nick from So Is It Any Good. We're here at the T2 train spotting premiere right here in Sydney. The stars are about to arrive, so let's see who we can pest. So you've done the, the sequel. Would you do the prequel or any of the spin-off bo you know, books like uh, Skag Boys or uh, The Blade Artist? Supposedly, Skag Boys may turn, turn into a television series in the way that uh, so much is turning into television now. Supposedly, that may end up as a television series. Blade Artist, Bobby's very keen to do because it is obviously a very original rethinking of Begbie. And it's a very good book. It's very short and a real, and written like a movie, like a real thriller. Um, so I, who knows, maybe that will um, emerge. I learned from the time we took to make this one that the, 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 the intervening time was really crucial to making a decent job of it, you know, that we had really had something to make a film about, that we wanted to speak about. And it has a kind of meta level that's not just a film. It's weird, it has to talk to the other film because the, the audience sort of know the other film and they expect to see it in a way or see it being recognised or acknowledged. That was interesting part of the process. Very unusual. I've never done that before. Probably never do that again, you know. With, with Trust on the way, is there anything you can tell us about your new TV show, Trust? Yeah. Um, it's about the Getty family. Uh, it's a dynast dynastic thing about the whole family over, over a century, really. And it's extraordinary. It's written by Simon Balfour, who wrote Slumdog Millionaire and Full Monty. So it's a magnificent piece of writing. We're just beginning to set it up. This time next year we'll have something in the can about it, yeah. It's a television series, it's like a, a five year, ten parts a year television, so it's a massive undertaking. And I direct the, the start of it and, and then produce, along with Christian Coulson and Simon Balfour, the, the rest of the series. Apparently you turned down the fourth Alien movie. Would you consider doing a sci-fi movie like a Star Wars or a comic book film? I love, I love... I love serious sci-fi. I'm not a natural Star Wars fan. I mean, they split in two. Sci-fi splits in two, really. The Star Wars, hugely successful. She's fantasy sci-fi, real. And then there's realistic sci-fi. And I'm more that bent, the realistic stuff. So like Arrival, I loved Arrival. You know, such a good film. It's so serious and kind of about, you know, what it might do, you know, what contact might do to us. Um, so I was very tempted with Alien, because although it's got creatures in it, it is very much a serious sci-fi. I remember being very tempted by that at the time, and I, I, I just got freaked by all the CG, because, I mean, I'd handle CG much better now, I understand it more. At the time, I didn't really, it was fledgling. I didn't really understand it. You do put yourself in somebody else's hands, which I find really difficult. But I have a good relationship now with the CG artist, you know, the guy who does all the work if we need any in the film. But I never build a film around that, those CG elements. I, I, I'm not naturally inclined that way. It's, I like it real in the room, even if it's weird, and magical and odd. I like it real in the room, you know. Like I love your practical effects. Can we see with the sinking into the floor and all that? Yeah, so can we expect any of that this time around? There's a little bit of that, yeah. There's, it's not as much because there's not as much drugs. Um, there are other compensations though, and there's a few interesting. There's an interesting. There's a few interesting bits and pieces. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your time, Danny. Appreciate that. Thank you. Take care.